Hello everyone, welcome to Olives Academy. So today uh, we are going to discuss about the past paper for double AG Sri Lanka. So this is level one examination for July 2024. Right, so this is financial accounting. So this is a three hour three hours paper. So there are there are three parts section a section b section c so first of all we are going to do in this part one section section a questions which is called otq objective test questions so this carries 40 marks in total so let's move to the first question question number one select the Select the most correct answer for question number 1.1 to 1.10. Write the number of the selected answer in your answer booklet with the number assigned to the question. So that is where you are doing. You have to follow these instructions very carefully when you are really doing the exam. So for our past paper discussion, so we are not going to see that. We are not going to uh, follow that because this is a past paper, right? Then obviously, question number one point one: The residual interest in assets of the entity after deducting all its liabilities is so. First of all, they are talking about residual interest. What is the meaning of residual interest? So, residual is the meaning of residual here if you look at this that is called remaining remaining of balance is the residual right thereafter if you look at the residual here so we can say that the balance or the remaining that you are getting after taking all the assets and you are deducting all the liabilities so we call it net assets right so net assets mean that is equity right so the answer is number two that is equity so that is called net assets so you take the entire assets and you uh, deduct all the liabilities. So what is coming into uh, in the remaining part? So what is the residual interest or the residual ba uh, the, the balance that you are getting, which is called net assets, which means equity in other words. Then 1.2. The Parliament of Sri Lanka has recently passed the Online Safety Act number nine of 2024 so there is a uh, extract they have given you so they are asking after that which of the following environmental factors represents the above statement so this is very easy because this is not an economic thing so they are not talking about economic thing and legal environment yes definitely they are talking about a legal thing act is coming under legal thing. so it's a legal matter so this is legal environment so answer is very easy to mark 1.3 select from the following the correct source document source document raised by the storekeeper at the time of receiving goods confirming that the goods were received okay storekeeper will be at the store so he is the person who is responsible for stocks that are coming in to the warehouse or into the store and going out from the store or warehouse so he is a responsible person without his knowledge no goods can come in and come go out right so he is a storekeeper so when he is receiving the good, what is the document that he will sign and confirm that these goods were received? 
So purchase order, no. It's not a purchase order. Goods received, no. GRN, yes, definitely. That is the answer to this question. So you don't have to even read the other questions here. If you really follow the uh, follow the theory part, so this is very easy to identify the answer here. Then 1.4. The following information was extracted from the books of three traders, a sole proprietorship for the year end, like 31st March 2024. So they are giving you total asset as at 31st March 2024 which is 4.8 million rupees and liabilities as at 31st March 2024 which is 750,000 rupees capital as at 1st April 2023 which is 2 million rupees and drawing made is 400,000 and additional capital introduced during the year is 800,000 so based on the information above the profit for the year in the 31st March 2024 was yeah you have to identify the profit so I'm using using some other sheets to uh, calculate the profit 